Welcome back to Demon of the Week, and today we're going to look at Moloch. Welcome to my channel. You are entering the world of magic and mysticism with your host, Lee W. Johnson. Keep the lights on and help improve the channel by becoming a supporter for just $2.99 per month. Hit the join button. Alrighty then, Moloch. Um, pretty quick one today, actually, to tell you the truth. Uh, but let's go through this. Um, it's really fairly straightforward and simple. Um, there is just some discussion we need to have about the whole Moloch being the um, sacrificer of children. Alright, so correspondence is um, month, October or December. Metal, steel, brass, colours, purple, yellow, green, and planet, sun. That's really it for the correspondences. Um, now, we do need to start this discussion um, by mentioning that although many view Moloch as a god and a demon, this, however, was probably um, not a proper name at all and is uh, simply a title which we find with so many other um, names or titles of the gods and goddesses and the demons, etc. Uh, such as Baal, um, meaning Lord, who we did last week. Uh, well, Baal in connection with Beelzebub. Um, and also Lucifer. Lucifer means light I mean, these are really titles to these entities. Um, so not actually proper names. Um, so it would therefore most probably be related to the Hebrew word melech, uh, which means king. Uh, in that regard, um, Moloch has been equated with the Canaanite god Baal Hadad, who we spoke about uh, last week in reference to Beelzebub. So it's definitely a connection here between uh, Beelzebub, Baal, more specifically Baal Hadad, and um, Moloch. However, Moloch is known in the biblical sense to be a sacrificer of children. And I think this is where he is most or, or known most for, but there um, should be a bit of a correction to this. Um, this probably actually comes from the theory that uh, is growing in popularity, that uh, the Hebrew word Moloch, um, which is uh, Mem Lamed uh, Kof, the Hebrew letters, uh, is identical in spelling to the word that means sacrifice in the related Punic language. Uh, before 1935, it was believed that Moloch was a pagan deity. Uh, he had a shrine dedicated to him outside the walls of Jerusalem uh, called Topheth in the valley of Ben-Hinnom. Uh, it was at this shrine where people were sacrificed, or passed through the fire. However, later research has suggested that this Moloch um, was in reference to the actual act of sacrifice, uh, which the Judahites uh, were giving to their national deity, who was Yahweh. This is further enforced in that none of the proposed gods that Moloch um, could be associated with received such a sacrifice. The most one uh, would get would be an animal sacrifice, but definitely not a child sacrifice. In other words, the Malak, um, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that properly, excuse me, um, the Malak sacrifice was never offered to a deity named Malak or Malik. Um, it has also been suggested that um, the act of passing through the fire that I mentioned just now, had absolutely nothing to do with sacrifice um, of children or anything else, um, but was actually an initiation ceremony. Um, and I would also add to that cleansing by fire. Uh, we see this in a lot of um, pagan rituals um, where we, you know, the people will pass or we will walk through or between two bale fires and pass their cattle between two bale fires in order to cleanse them for the coming year. Um, so this sounds very similar. 
but uh, this view is not one of the more popular ones. Um, but we just still wanted to present it um, as a possibility. So, who is Moloch in our modern practice? Um, I'm going to read directly from Johannem's website because it kind of mixes a lot of different um, paths um, and how they view Moloch and in a very simple, straightforward way. So I'm going to go straight into this. Uh, theistic Satanism describes Moloch as a solar and infernal deity who instills health, power, strength and nourishment within the magician. Uh, a courageous theriomorphic warlord who lights his enemies blaze. Traditional Aryamanism uh, presents Moloch as a god of blasphemy, polytheism, uh, lust, rage, murder and death. Luciferian grimoires venerate Moloch as a god form of transformative rebirth and a harbinger of magical ascent and adepthood. And chaos Gnosticism presents Moloch as the guardian of the fiery void, a devouring aspect of the abyss which imparts the final cleansing to the adept. Still, other black magical traditions uh, present him as a cruel and merciless uh, avenger who presides over baleful sorcery, a god of suffering who castigates souls with fire. All right, so that's Johanna. I thought that was quite a good description. So I put it in there directly. So that's really Moloch. Um, and I think the main thing to take away from this is because Moloch has been pointed out for years as being the the um, sacrifice of children. Uh, but as we know, a lot of the um, the old gods and goddesses, especially from the ancient Middle East, uh, were demonized in this regard as being these entities that sacrificed children or ate children or something to that effect. Um, in actual fact, it's usually a misinterpretation um, and it means absolutely nothing of the sorts. All right, um, so that's it for this week, and I'll see you next week. Enjoy. Have fun. I'll see you then. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.